Hello, I am Camden Farrell. I'm here with Disappointment Media today to talk with Mr. Ed Sonoda, writer and director of Nine Days. Thank you for talking with me. Thank you so much. Yeah, nice to meet you. Of course. Nice to meet you too. So Nine Days is a movie about a man named Will who has to interview five unborn souls to determine which one gets a life on Earth. So this is a very unique premise. What inspired you to create such a original and human story? Yeah, um, I would say that, you know, um, struggles I was going through, you know, at, at, at that time and, uh, and, you know, difficulties and, and feeling like, I think when you go through some, you know, um, things like that, you just lose some perspective of what is in front of you. So you kind of go blind in some sort of ways. And I feel like it, it helped me raise this question, like, uh, instead of just seeing as, you know, my goal is just to achieve that, or my goal is just to have this, or my goal is, is just what if this, this, by, by this, I mean, like, what are we living right now is the goal, you know, and you already achieve it, you know, uh, by, you know, being here, being alive. So that, yeah, from that, I think I could create this kind of word that was like a pre-life, it's just like competing this kind of a reality show and like, so like, okay, now, now that we are, uh, and the victorious would just uh, uh, fill one of those vacancies that we have, right, that we, we are feeling right now. So that's more or less where it comes from. Mm -hmm. And being such a metaphysical and abstract movie, how did you approach creating the main house and creating this world in your vision? Yeah, it's, I, 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 I think since the script level, um, I want the house to be like surrounded by nothing, like but just like this desert. Uh, because I, I think for me, it was just like this representation of uh, isolation. And uh, iconically, it was uh, visually also would be like uh, very interesting to see that just, okay, house and nothing else around, you know. And like inside the house, um, it, as you can see, like it, it is a house, but it feels somehow different. It's, it's like, uh, and my approach was like, uh, to make it more or less like a memory, you know? And uh, as a memory, a memory of what, you know, Will's life was when he was alive. And as memories, you know, uh, when you think of memory, it's, it, in your mind, it feels like, you know, a picture of that moment, but actually it's not. It's more like a, a, a painting of that moment because you like, it's so subjective. So uh, when, when it was just talking to my production designer and my, you know, director of photography, always telling them, yeah, what if you make this house, even though we are filming this house, look more like a painting, you know, how can you do that? And I think what you saw uh, kind of translates that, 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 that idea. And this movie features a very talented and established cast. Can you tell us a little bit about how you assembled this cast and what it was like to work with them? Oh yeah, no, that, that was, I, I was super, super lucky to, you know, get, have a, all those uh, amazing actors just, uh, you know, being be in the movie. And uh, I think everything started with the script, you know, uh, uh, I wrote the script in the most personal way I, I could. And, uh, and when you send, start sending out and just like, you know, uh, showing the script and, and uh, saving to agents and, and everything, uh, people start just connecting with the script in a way that, you know, I think, I think there's something interesting about making yourself vulnerable, you know, people who want to make themselves vulnerable as well. They just are gonna connect to you in a, in a deeper level. And that's how I felt when we started just sending out the script, when I started talking to actors and, uh, and having their, uh, them sharing their experiences as well. And, uh, and, and that was like a, such a, just such a, 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 an amazing you know, uh, moment and connection that I have with them. And the movie features a variety of characters who are all very complex and developed. What character did you relate to the most and why? Oh, that's, that's, oh, wow. That's, I think the first time I got, was answered this question. That's a, I kind of relate with everyone, you know. Um, I can say, yeah, a lot with Will, because he, you know, is a protagonist, is, is a lot of Will is like me, my uncle. Uh, and um, I can say Mike is, is, I, I can relate with like this kind of a, I'm, I'm very sensitive in a sense of, you know, uh, things that I do and things that I share and then, you know, if I'm, this is good enough or this, uh, and uh, Maria, is, I think everyone, you know, it's just like, uh, I, I, I think Emma is something, is, is more like what I wanted to be more, you know, I wanted to have more of this uh, 
uh, understanding. And uh, every time I, I do things, I feel, how can I be a little bit more Emma? But uh, all the other ones, I feel like already it's so, you know, present. You know, I think Emma is, is kind of my aspiration, you know, to be more like her, I guess. And what were some of your artistic and personal influences when making this movie? Oh, there's so many. Yeah, I can say like, you know, there's so many filmmakers I admire, you know, and, and uh, um, I, for, yeah, Spike Jones is one of them, you know, movies like her, uh, um, you know, Bill and John Malkovich, or that they're, they're very, you know, uh, uh, they, they happen in a not non-realistic environment, they feel so real and so human, so visceral. And then uh, Kori Eda, Japanese director, who like at Afterlife and uh, um, all the other movies, like they, he can't explore such a, you know, uh, human conditions and uh, the environment around them. Right? Um, and then, yeah, I think, in terms of look, there's a, there's a lot of about like Terrence Malick that I love, you know. Um, there is even uh, let me see some some other. So I think that yeah, those three for now. Yeah, I can I have more, but I, yeah, I can. Let me know. Yeah, I think that's that's enough, right? Okay. This is a movie that you said, like you said, is um very personal to you. Uh -huh. And what do you hope audiences take from this movie more than anything? Uh, I think first, just like I, I, I want them to, you know, see it and somehow connect what they've seen to some aspect of their life, you know, and something that maybe they went through, they're going through, not they, not necessarily like I'm not pretentious in the way that oh, I want to, you know, make it different or something, but just maybe build this bridge you know a link between the what's on the screen and what's going on in their lives I think that that will be that, that, that will be great and um, yeah but in a sense it, it, I think for me like when I see it's just like it, it's it's so hard, easy for us to you know lose perspective of things and, and and not be able to see things that are in front of us and, and maybe maybe they can somehow uh, uh, see more of the things that in front of us we can see. Yeah. And Nine Days is your feature directorial debut and it's mm -hmm. not a debut. And if anyone's like me, I'm just curious to see what's next from you. So what's next mm -hmm. for your career as a director? Uh, I, wanna, I wanna write it. I, I'm writing something now and I wanna, I wanna be the, the thing that I, I write and direct, you know, uh, uh, I, I want it to be like personal. I want it to be intimate, you know, and, and uh, We'll see, yeah, after I, I, I finish the script, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I want it to be almost like my second nine days, you know. Now, in nine days, the process to interview an unborn soul takes nine days. So mm -hmm. in nine words, how would you describe this movie to audiences? <laughs> I, know, I know it's nine words, but uh, <laughs> that's hard. You know, uh, uh, a reckless man uh interview souls for the privilege of life then that's perfect yeah then it was then yeah this movie had its premiere at the 2020 sundance film festival uh, you about your experience at sundance it, it was like uh intense you know in in all you know sort of ways like there i think all the emotions you just like you know if of feeling at once you know like uh joy and fear and you know anxiety and you know uh, excitement uh it, it was it, it was like a once in a lifetime you know experience because that was the first time people would see the movie and uh but it was just unbelievable the like the the reactions and support we get you know uh we got like people you know stop me on the street and ask me for a hug or something like that or just like uh, talking to me in a way that you know, very intimate conversations and people making themselves very vulnerable, talk about, you know, moments of loss that they experience and things like that. So it was, it was super special for sure. Yeah. I want to thank you again for talking with me about your new movie. Nine Days is thank one of favorite this year and I'm really excited for audiences to see it in mm -hmm. New York and Los Angeles on July 30th, mm -hmm. nationwide in theaters, August 6th. It's really a great experience and it's a fantastic debut and I'm just excited to see what you, what you think of next. Thank you. Thank you so much.